Page number 155, chapter, chapter The One Who Does Not Thank the People. Abu Hurairah said, the Prophet said, the one who does not thank the people is not grateful to Allah. Okay. okay. This hadith might confuse some. See, the ibadat are divided, or let's rephrase that. The actions can be forms of worship and can be not forms of worship. So asking is a form of worship when you ask Allah. But asking people is not a form of worship when the people can do something for you. So if I ask you to help me in what you are able to help me, come and help me carry this table and you are capable of doing it. Is this shirk? No, because it is within your ability. But if I ask you to bring life to my dead son, then this is not in your ability. If I ask you to tell me what will happen in the future, if I ask you to make rain fall, all of this is shirk because you're asking other than Allah over things that no one is capable of doing except Allah. Now in this hadith, the Prophet is telling us about expressing your gratitude, being thankful. So one would be asking, is it permissible to thank other than Allah? Or is this shirk? No, it's not shirk. On the contrary, it's part of worshipping Allah. So Allah Azza wa Jal wants you to express your appreciation to your fellow Muslim brother who has given you or who has done you a favor. Otherwise, Allah will be angry with you. This hadith shows that the one who does not thank people is not grateful to Allah. What does this mean? The, does this mean? It can be either one. Either it refers to the person who does not show his gratitude to people. Such a person most likely will never thank Allah Azza wa Jal by nature. A person who has this built in his nature, not to thank people for doing him a favor, usually the high percentage is such a person would not show his gratitude to Allah, would be always complaining and not thankful to Allah Azza wa Jal. And the second interpretation would be that Allah the Almighty, even if you thank Him and show appreciation to Him, will not accept it from you unless you express your gratitude to others. And this shows us that we do not live on an island. We live in a community. So we have to show our appreciation to others. We have to show them that we do understand the effort and the lengths they had taken in order to do us a favor. How do we thank people? It's very easy. Express your feelings. Pay back by doing good things to them. Saying, a good word. The hadith, the Prophet says, alayhi salatu wasalam, whoever does you a favor, repay him as much as you can. And if you cannot repay him, then make dua for them until you feel this suffices. Make dua. How easy is that? Very easy. And the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, whoever does you a favor and you say to him, Jazakallahu khayran, then he has exceeded in thanking and appreciating him. 
The word is very little, huh? Jazakallahu khairan. What does it mean? May Allah reward you with goodness. This is dua. So you give me a favor, you do me a favor, you help me change the tire. Thank you. This is not yani, uh, 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 bringing satisfaction. But when you say, may Allah reward you, Allahu Akbar, that I will expect my compensation to come from Allah. If you compensate me, peanuts. But when Allah compensates me and rewards me, this is beyond my imagination. And this is why it is an old habit of mine that whenever someone does something to me, I make dua for them. And I say it without intending it. Oh, Sheikh, this is not rewardable. La ilaha illallah. We're coming back to the same problem. The issue of reward and intention, the brothers have yani, confusion in that. Maybe I did not display it correctly. Maybe people have sensitivity towards it. Let me go back to my topic. Later on we will discuss it, inshallah. So it's a habit that whenever someone does something to me, I thank them by giving dua. And I intend the dua, but I don't pay attention to it. But it has an overwhelming impact on them. And when I consider what I say, mm, that's nice. I would love people to say this to me. I say, Rahim Allah walaik wa Allahu lak. May Allah for, have mercy on your parents and forgive you for anything. And the people take a step back and say, Jazakallah khair, may Allah reward you for these beautiful words. I don't pay attention to saying it and having this impact. But believe me, a word has a strong impact on people. So showing your appreciation, especially to the nearest and closest people to you, has a profound impact. Whether it's a child, when you encourage them, whether it's your wife. Imagine in Ramadan, how long do our wives spend in the kitchen? Not less than three hours, four hours. When you break your fast with the dates, what's the first comment? Ah, the soup needed some salt. The sambusa is overcooked. And uh, this is that, and this is, this is devastating. No matter what, praise your wife's cooking. Seriously, my wife knows I'm a big liar whenever she cooks food. And I've been married for 33 years. Whenever she cooks food, she usually makes mistakes. Either it's burnt, too salty, too raw. I eat and I speak while eating. If it's bad, I eat three morsels, four morsels. I eat a lot of salad. And alhamdulillah, may Allah Azza wa Jal grant you Jannah, you beautiful food. In Arabic, we say, Tislam al Ayadi. May your hands be healthy and to. And she looks at me while I'm eating and she says, You're lying. The food is horrible. Why don't you say so? Why don't you speak? I said, how long have you spent in the kitchen cooking it? Did you intend it this way? It so happened. And if it happens, I appreciate your effort, not the result. Because I have so many shortcomings. If you start picking them up, I'll be doomed. I never take you out. Seriously, I never take her out at all. We never travel. I don't take you to restaurants. I don't buy you gifts. I don't say good words. And you want me to complain about your cooking or about the house or about my clothes not being ironed? I should be ashamed of myself. 
So this way of reciprocating, of appreciation, you live happy life. You don't eat well, but you live a happy life because we all have our shortcomings. You must show your gratitude to others in order so Allah Azza wa Jal would grant you or would appreciate and reward you for what you do.